how's everybody doing today? I am your host, Rich, and we have Rich to be live with our very special guest, the CEO of Lightlink Technologies, Peter Green. How are you doing today, Peter? Very good, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Lightlink has been on fire. Congratulations on all of your success recently. Thank you. And why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what made you want to become the CEO of Lightlink? Yeah, no problem. So just a little bit of background on myself. You can probably tell from my accent, I'm from the United Kingdom. So I moved to Canada in 2007 with my family, wife Susan and daughter Darcy. And we set up home here in West Vancouver. And um, I worked for TELUS as the president of their business solutions group for wow. a very happy 12 years. Uh, lots of success with that organization. And I moved over here, interestingly enough, with Darren Entwistle, the chief exec, who I worked with previously in cable and wireless in the UK. And so that's a little bit of background on myself. In terms of Lightlink as an organization, I think there's huge potential in the business. So that's the predominant factor that attracted me to the company. And in speaking with some of the partners and investors in the company, there's a huge backswell of support to make the company healthy and, and grow. And so we have a tremendous opportunity in IoT, which, as you know, is a huge growth area, particularly in the North American market, but worldwide. And we have access to that worldwide market. So that's very exciting. And we also have the ability to make uh, some quite diverse investments, actually, which is also really attractive to me. So we can help grow the business on multiple dimensions. And I think uh, in the last day or so, you've seen an announcement on our most recent investment which is into the blockchain cryptocurrency world with a company called Catalyx. Yes. So it's that level of flexibility and diversity that I find really attractive. And what are the main focuses of Lightlink for the first half of 2021 and what sets you apart from your competitors? So the focus areas for us early on in this financial year will be to consolidate and grow our IoT business which right now is founded on a waste management solution, predominantly in the construct heavy waste construction area. And so we have a unique opportunity to grow that market with, with what I think is a truly unique product. So within this market, we can enable operators and distributors to fully monitor the performance of their waste management assets on site. So it's, that's typically a 40 foot open top container so our IoT device can monitor and measure the performance of that, that bin on site, monitoring fill levels when it needs to be collected, advising both the distributor and the site that it needs to be collected. All of that's done automatically and reported on a dashboard as opposed to the pen and paper process that's largely in place today. And that will increase the efficiency for those bin distributors significantly so maybe up to an extra six to $800 per month per bin as an, as an upgrade to their efficiency. So we've got our first contract in that area. So we need to focus on implementation for that client. And then we've got many more opportunities in the pipeline to grow that business. That's great. The, the secondary area of focus will be on making sure that we um, implement the cryptocurrency organization that we've currently acquired partner with them. They've got a fantastic leadership team. Looking forward to working with them. And we believe they provide a really strong capability to the market. And more to come on that in future interviews, I hope. But that's a very exciting opportunity with a ton of potential for growth. I agree with you. Two of the hottest sectors in the world right now, blockchain and IoT. And you guys are in both. So yes. can you explain a little bit about how Lightlink has been making some moves in the blockchain and the IoT, you've mentioned a little bit, and go through some of the moves for our viewers? Sure. Well, if you look at, as I previously mentioned, in the waste management side for IoT, this is a hugely underserved market. So as we look at our capability and measure that against the market demand and the competition, I think we're in a hugely strong position to grow that business. And that's predominantly because the industry has not adopted a lot of technology to date. And so there's our opportunity. And the competition is pretty light. There is competition in the market, which validates the market, obviously, but that competition is pretty light. Not to underestimate them, but just to say that I think the advances that we can make with our technology on behalf of that market are significant. And so that's going to be very powerful for us. 
on the blockchain side and with cryptocurrency, you know, we've acquired 19% of Catalyx as a starting point. And we hope to do great things with that company, but we're also looking to augment the capabilities of that company with other acquisitions. And so as we find and identify those target acquisitions, that gives us the ability to enhance the Catalyx platform and provide a much broader solution in a marketplace that's growing terrifically. So that's incredibly exciting to have that capability. Now you did a press release that Lightlink is going to work closely with Catalyx, which you just mentioned, which has the tightest spreads and lowest prices in Canada for Bitcoin and other coins. Can you tell us how important this relationship is for Lightlink? Well, I think it's an incredibly important relationship for us, as with any acquisition or partial acquisition or partnership. Um, we've gone onto this, having done our research, we've spoken at length with the partners at Catalyst. We think there's a great cultural match between the, the leadership teams. The product development roadmap that they've put together is very impressive. And they're already operating very successfully in the market in Canada and will expand globally. And so for us, that opportunity is huge. And that's why when we look at augmenting their capability with other acquisitions or partnerships, we think if you look at any of the comparables in the market, and this, this market has many, then our unique characteristics will give us a very serious advantage in this market. Now, Lightlink is looking potentially to do more financing like all public companies do. Um, if this is something that you're looking to do in the future, is there a larger financing coming? And if so, what would the funds be used for? Right now, we've just undergone a small capital raise, which gives us enough, enough capital for our immediate requirements. Great. However, as we look into the opportunity to grow our business, I think we'll grow both organically and through acquisition. And so, yes, we will be raising funds in the future, and those funds will be used for acquisitions and solidifying the growth of our business through sales and marketing initiatives. So those are the two specific areas where most of the money will be spent. Now, Lightlink recently did a 2.5 to 1 reverse split. Can you break down the share structure for us and how much is held by insiders and friendly hands? Yeah, for sure. So just to give you a bit of background, we had a lot of shares outstanding with Lightlink, over 170 million. So as we've consolidated that down to 96 million, that gives a much tighter held spread on the market. Um, most of that stock is held by insiders and friendly partners. And so that gives us a great ability to establish a much stronger platform for current and future shareholders. It will enable us to be much more attractive in terms of future capital raise. And I think we're in a much stronger position now with a much healthier outlook for, for investors. Peter, if there was one thing you would want shareholders to know about Lightlink today, what would it be? Well, I think that's pretty easy for me to answer right now. We have a foothold in two incredibly exciting markets. Both markets are growing rapidly and it's all about execution now. So we have a very strong leadership team. We have a very strong partner with our latest acquisition through Catalyst. We have many more exciting opportunities ahead of us. And right now, I think we're an amazing place to invest. If you look at some of the comparables that have been achieved in the market on cryptocurrency and blockchain, then the huge share growth potential is pretty obvious. And so we're at 60 cents today as we do this interview. And I think that would be a very attractive starting number for any investor. What would be the best way for shareholders to get in touch with the company? Most efficiently would be through our website. Um, if you access our website, there's a contact us component of the website. And that will, any inquiries or questions that come through that website will be responded to very effectively and efficiently. Very good. Well, I'm really excited to see what Lightlink has in store for us next. Like I said, two of the hottest sectors in the world, IoT and blockchain, all into one. And I believe that this is a company that's still undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed. Now, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. If you like this video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. Put Lightlink Technologies on your watch list 
put on your radar. I think it's a company that has a great future. And thank you so much for joining us. Peter Green, the CEO of Lightlink Technologies. Great to meet you and have a great day. Thanks thank so you, much. Thank you, Peter. Thank you for joining us. And for those of you that are watching all over the world, put this company on your radar, put on your watch list. I think the future looks really bright. And thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.